So this question was asked by one of the colleague and uh, the, he was trying to understand what's the difference between CDMA and 2G, 3G and LTE because even though CDMA has been specified in 3G PP2, why it is being considered as non 3G PP? It should be considered as 3G PP2. So this particular question challenges a lot of people and then tricks them, although the difference is not really huge. And uh, let me tell you what the difference specifically is. Even if you go on to the 3G PP website, it will explicitly say that any technology which is not specified in 3GPP, even though if it is specified in 3GPP2, uh, that is considered as non-3GPP. So for example, for WiMAX, etc., and Wi-Fi, we know that they were categorized under IEEE. IEEE. However, uh, when it comes to, for example, CDM, even though it's specified in 3GPP2, uh, if it's not specified in 3GPP, then the technology is considered as non-3GPP. So let's take a look in a 3GPP website as well. And in that website, you are going to see that it explicitly says that non-3GPP means they are not specified exactly in 3GPP standards. So that's why we consider it as non-3GPP. So if you take a look here, I am on 3GPP.org website. And here, this is the interesting thing to read. And non-3GPP means that these accesses were not specified in 3GPP. So not specified in 3GPP, that's it, period. And these technologies do include WiMAX, CDMA, wireless LAN or fixed network. And then further it categorizes or defines or divides into 3GPP, let's say trusted and non-trusted. So trusted non-3GPP are the ones which can access directly with the evolved packet core or core network and non-trusted are the one which cannot uh, directly access the core network. They have to come through evolved packet data gateway. So that's another category division which goes through it. However, um, the question does get answered that anything which is not specified in 3GPP that falls under the category of non-3GPP. So as an example, what you see is your SGW can communicate with your 3G via this S4 interface, and then the same SGSN is able to communicate with 2G, 3G, which you see over here. When it comes to accessing non-3GPP, so you see depending on if it's trusted or non-trusted. If it's trusted source, then you can see in this diagram, SGW can communicate directly trusted non-3GPP. If it's non-trusted, then it will have to come through EPDG, which you see specifically shown on the screen on the right side. So that elaboration on non-3GPP, why those technologies are considered as non-3GPP. Even if it's non-3GPP, they can access the network depending on if it's trusted one or non-trusted one. Thank you for the question.